Hi, this is Linda from KC Creation, bringing you on the tour of Monet's garden. In the late 1800s, Claude Monet, when he lived in France, the little village he lived in was called Giverny, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, he painted over 200 of his uh, artworks in his garden, so it is the most visited place in France. The journal measures nine by six. It has a very vivid purple bow here to pick up the purples in the paper. There is cards and tags in the front pocket. All the cards, tags, and mats throughout the journal are backed with another layer of cardstock to make them very durable. The little bulb pins hold the smaller tags onto the larger ones, and I've put some flower charms on each one. The little bulb pins work just like safety pins, so you could open them up, add something, remove something, whatever you'd like. Here is the vellum pocket that they fit in. It is at an angle. And here I've put another little corner pocket to hold these little tags of pictures of the garden. This set comes from Pixels Parfait. She is British. She knows a lot about Monet, so she kind of helped me through this. And her paper collection, I will put its link in the description box in case you want to visit her shop. It's very unique. All the colors blend together. I've actually used just her Monet garden and then I have accented it with a little paper from the countryside. It does have a four inch spine. I have put lots of streamers, all different colors that are used throughout the journal. It does have two tags here that are tied with the twine. And here's the twine that holds the three sections together. So you can easily remove the sections and reinsert them if you wanted to. I've got chiffon ribbon here and I have finished the ends for you so that it threads through the, the larger grommets very easily. In the front. This is the front cover to the first section and I have a potpourri here. It is scented in lavender. If you like it fine, if you don't want it in a journal, maybe put it in your lingerie drawer. It's held by a hidden paper clip. The paper clips right in there and you just slide it right on your page wherever you can like it. You can move it around if you want. It's got lace on it. it up. This is the back of the hidden paper clip you see. This is some beautiful pink chiffon ribbon that is the closure for your first section. I have a little ticket here that holds this tiny little tag. It's got yellow ribbon tied with yellow baker's twine and a little heart charm. Excuse me, flower charm. In the side, in the hidden pocket, there is a pullout. Just fits between the two layers of cardstock. Opens this way. I've got an angled pocket here. Two more tags. And the little eyelets, anytime you see the ribbon, there's gonna be a metal eyelet. That's to protect your holes so they don't tear out over time. And on this side, I've got an angled band. It says Monet's Garden. It holds a little tag. This fits right down there. And there is some more cards here. Beautiful paper. It also has a hidden pocket on the side.
in over here. That's where that little guy fell out. I've got a side band that holds these three little tags. All pictures of his garden. Got green, a nice lavender, pretty pink chiffon ribbon on those. On this side, I've cut out a boat here to serve as a little tuck spot and it matches what's underneath. So underneath this picture here is this boat. I just made another one and glued it on there so it didn't mess up the picture. There's two more cards. They've got decorative edges. And it has a hidden pocket. Nice big postcard. Lots of journaling space again. Here we have an envelope that holds these two cards. And there's the boat again. And there's plenty of room in there if you wanted to stick something else. It will fit. On this side we've got a little flip. Behind the little tranquility is a tiny wee little tag there and some more smaller ones behind this pocket. It has a pull out from the top. Open this up. We've got a pull out from the side. Another flip. Got a little corner pocket here that holds these two tags. And a little contentment here. It serves as a tuck spot for this little tag. Pull out from the top. Oops, excuse me. This one goes side first. I can get it there. There we go. Then you can pull this one out. It's lined decorative paper. Here we have a vellum pocket and another little pocket in the center of it to hold these two little tags. And then the vellum pocket holds these four. beautiful the pictures are she designs paper just out of this world it's stunning here we have a green chiffon ribbon that is this closure we've got another little flip here it's an acetate window and you pull it out little pictures of flower it says peace up here it says serenity with some little antique lace a little flower charm this opens up. Got a little bunny, <coughs> excuse me, in the garden here. This comes from the countryside collection she has. A little stamp, a little ticket. On this side, we've got some antique lace, which I coffee stained. This is a band here that serves as our pocket. It does have a pull out also, a very large card. Lots of lines to write on. It says notes. And you can also put something in the pocket too. It will fit in there. It again, 
got a little open here. Serves as a little note that you can write on it as it is. Or just by lifting it out, then you can write on it. It does have a cardstock back, so it does give you some something to hold your paper. It just slides right back under the belly band. On this side, we have a flip. Another acetate window. It says Bliss. Some more lace. Pulls this out and it shows the little birds in the background. Paintbrush. Little rose charm. Flips. We've got another flip here. We've got a pocket. Behind the word beauty, it holds this little wee tag. In this pocket holds these three. It's the pretty bridge with some swans, lily pads. It has a pull out from the side large place you can you could add a photo do some journaling about the photo whatever you would like slides right back in there opens up here in the center we have pink chiffon again I have finished the ends of the ribbon so that they're easy for you to thread get it all going in one direction here. Always on camera it doesn't want to act nice. Okay, we'll go this side. There we go. Opens up like this. You've got a pretty picture in the background. Some more cards. This would make a good bookmark. Mark a place in the journal. Another good size postcard. The next section, beautiful paper. I love all those shades of purple. We've got a lavender ribbon as this closure. Behind the little bird here, which I fussy cut out and put here, holds these little tags, a little stamp. Some antique lace up there. Another little pull out. It's got a little flower charm. It's this way you've got a tuck spot up at the top. Holds these two. Here it says magical. Close these cards. We've got a rose charm there. Over the lily pads. Got a small tag onto the large one. Let's kind of pull out on the side, another hidden pocket. Angled pocket here with some more antique lace. Close these two cards. And on this side, I've got another little flip acetate window. It says solitude. Got some lace here. Close it out. Got some nice bright pink tied with green. Little rose. Opens like this. Oh, and we've got this antique lace down here. I also coffee stain that for you. Here we've got a band on the side which I've covered in scalloped lace. 
use these two cards. There's another hidden pocket here. Another big postcard lined on the back. Open it up. Here we have an angled band. I've covered it with some more antique lace. We've got a little key closure. You just turn it, lift up the tab. It's got two little tags here. Open it up, and you've got all of these cards. Side back. This is the journal part. This is an antique brass clip. And this little clip holds your pen or pencil, just fits in the little hole there. Open it up. It's got an envelope. And I have made it's a jumbo gold paper clip. I've curled the ends of it, put a little tag on it. This envelope is empty. I made it for you to store notes, letters, pictures, whatever mem memorabilia you would like to add to your journal. And all the pages, they're lined and decorative. And they're all, the decorative part is from what you have already seen in the journal, just larger copies of it. Got lots of pages to write on. And then I've also made you a little cinch 2022 calendar. I have lined the back with lined paper. It's cardstock, not paper, excuse me. So that you can write down special occasions for that month, birthdays, anniversaries, appointments, whatever. It is a full 12 months. And that concludes our tour. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed it.